Alan John here. And today we had a request to check out the 2020 Range Rover Velar uh, with the V6. So here we are. This one is in Fuji white. It's the R Dynamic package, which gives it some little extra bits here. So the R Dynamic package is gonna come with this nice body kit, it gives it a more aggressive look. Uh, some side vents here with the copper trim. And then with the V6, uh, you get these dual exhaust pipes. Uh, and that lets everybody know that this is no standard model. This is gonna be the upgraded one with 340 horsepower. All right, so let's hop on in. All right, so hopping inside the Velar. As you can see, it's a nice place to be. All right, so I have the bill sheet here. This one comes equipped with a couple different upgrades here. Uh, this one has the electronic air suspension. So if we go into the vehicle settings here, right now we're in the low position. Let's raise it up to the higher position. So right now, you can't really tell we're raising up and we're gonna go even higher. We can pretty much tackle all the terrain that your average soccer mom will come across during her day-to-day -day life. Anyway, this one also has the heated and cooled front seats. Oh, that's nice. So the way you get to that is you're gonna push this down and this is gonna give you your heated seats. And if you turn it to the left, you have your cooled seats. I'm gonna go heated. It's about 30 degrees out right now. And I'm also gonna put on my heated steering wheel and the heated front windshield. I wanna be extra warm. Uh, this one also has the drive package, which gives you adaptive cruise control, which is clutch. Uh, if you're lazy like me and you don't want to be bothered with slowing down or speeding up, just put on the adaptive cruise and your car is going to follow the car in front of it, uh, whether it speeds up or slows down, up to a certain miles per hour, whatever you want that to be. Um, anyway, as we can see here in the little dash, now this one has the physical dials, uh, but it still gives you a lot of good information here. So this car will actually read the speed signs and tell you what they are. Uh, so you really shouldn't be speeding in this car unless you want to. Right, climate controls here, so it's really cool. You just push these touch buttons here. I'm gonna put them all on. Vehicle settings. We're gonna go dynamic. Awesome. All right, and this one also has the panoramic sunroof that also opens is always great also meridian surround which is gonna be the top of the line sound system offered uh, 825 watts so it gets loud let's go for a drive okay All right, where are you going? That's having the air suspension. Uh, this car feels a little more floaty than what you would get in the base model, which drives good as well. But if you just want that extra bit of comfort, you get this one. Oh, I should also note that this one uh, comes in at $75,335 with all the options installed. Um, so yeah. Wait, this one has deployable side stuffs? What? What? No way. Maybe they didn't put them on yet. Oh, and the steering wheel is going to be telescoping. Telescoping, telescoping. And then we have some paddle shifters, which I'm not gonna use, because it's uh, not my car. I'm not revving this thing out, okay? Sorry to disappoint. Uh, we're just gonna go on a nice cruise. Maybe I'll put my foot down a little bit, but nothing crazy here. Here we go, secret cup holder. All right, here we go, and we're off. Now these roads are not known as being, you know, great. 
but I can't feel anything right now, which is a good sign. That's a really good sign. So I have a camera on my face, so whenever somebody rolls up next to me, they think I'm crazy. Which they wouldn't be totally wrong about that. All right, here we go. So this one is not slow. So right off the bat, the ride is very smooth. This air suspension is like riding on a cloud, okay? And for that alone, that's why I would upgrade to the V6 model. You can't get it in the four cylinder model, but once you start getting up into the V6s, the P340 uh, and the P380, you can go ahead and add on the air suspension, which is a nice thing to have. I mean, this is the same air suspension you get on a Sport, you get on a full size. It's what Land Rover is known for. If you're gonna get one of these, you may as well. You may as well get that suspension there. All right, so let's put on the radio. Fox News. No, I don't want politics. I don't want politics. All right, forget the radio. Um, come on, let me stretch the thing's legs, come on. Here we go. This is not a sporty car by any means, but that engine sounds pretty good. Normal height selected. All right, we're now in normal height. The car decided it wanted to be in normal height. All right, so the, the car's telling me right now the speed limit is 40 miles per hour, which is true. And also, if you have any videos you wanna see, any Jaguar Land Rovers, um, we have every one of them here. So just let me know down below in the comment section what you wanna see, and I will make that video for you. Uh, today's video, was suggested by a subscriber who I can't pronounce his name, but I will put on the screen here. So thank you very much for the suggestion and thanks for watching. I'm John, take care.